right, so here's the computer. Enis is still connected, so let's just disconnect it. Right. And the first thing you, you want to notice is that. Let me bring down the computer here. Yeah, the first thing that you want to notice is that. We are looking for a, a network that is called switch, the switch network, because when you connect this circle, it creates uh, a hotspot, which name is switch. So I'm just looking for, for it. As you can see, there is no uh, network, it's called switch. So let's just go ahead and reconnect. Our, our setup. So, music licensing reimagined. Oh, as you can see, we have a switch three config. Okay, so. You're gonna you're gonna go ahead and scan for the new networks and one of them is gonna be called switch config. It doesn't matter the name, like for instance in this case it's switch three config. It doesn't matter the name. Then what matters is that it is called switch config. Okay? So with this uh, you can make sure that your connection, your uh, wiring connection is is working um, it is alive now and you can just go ahead and, and place the next thermostat on top of it right so in this section let's let's say that we are already done with the uh, with the testing of the aliveness of the circle okay so i'm just gonna go ahead and disconnect it again disconnected let's just connect I'm just making sure that it's not moving around so it's gonna be a little difficult to manipulate all right so uh, here we go and as you can see I connected my 24 volt transformer and the circle uh, is powering up the Nest thermostat, okay? So this is one of the most important tests that you want to perform that uh, it powers up your Nest thermostat. You're not supposed to to smell anything like, uh, you know, something is burning or something. Uh, so if you notice that something is behaving strangely, just disconnect your transformer and make a revision um, so yeah basically we started uh, wiring everything and then uh, we moved on to the test of the circle along with the back plate of the NES thermostat and you you made sure that uh, both are working that uh, it was exposing um, a hotspot network and then the final step well because it is a brand new thermostat it doesn't have enough battery to be powered up but um, let me just uh, uh, wait here a couple of minutes I'm gonna come back again when the next thermostat is fully fully uh, energized all right it's been a couple of minutes uh, I think it's charged enough for, 
first open. So equipment. This is the one that I'm most interested about, okay? Because uh, yeah, um, yeah, this is the one that I, I am really really interested. So as you can see, right now. This is connected, okay? This is the most important thing that you need to verify. Once the Nest thermostat is connected and is powering, and it's being powered up by the circle, you want to make sure that all the connections are fully connected, okay? And by fully connected, I mean that the Nest thermostat is going to tell you uh, if it detected a wire in a in a specific location, for instance, in this case, W1, W2, the ones that we uh, we did in the initial configuration, uh, Y1, Y2, RC, RH, and of course the C for common, right? So I'm gonna disconnect, just for you to see, I'm gonna disconnect my transformer, and you're gonna see that it's gonna tell you like, hey, careful. There is not enough power here. Look. Alright. This is one of the most important tests <coughs> that you need to perform. You need to make sure, really, really make sure that you are not having red flags here. Alright? If you see a red flag, it means that you didn't connect um, the cable or something something happened along the way. Okay? So I'm just gonna go ahead and reconnect my transformer Music licensing and it will verify instantly. Alright? Basically, at this point, you don't have to do anything else. It is telling you that it detected heating, heating stage 2, cooling, and cooling stage 2. 